Hello folks, welcome back to our Let's Play for Nino Cooney. My name is Fuzzfinger and I will be your guide for today and for every other day that you choose to watch this series. So please continue if you are enjoying this series to rate up the videos and if you enjoy watching it then I will continue putting them out there. What we are going to do is just head to the inn because I don't like running around with half health. And then once we've headed to the inn and rested, we're going to continue on with the story. And I believe the inn is that shop with the moon and star symbol. Let me through, please. Yes, let's take. Ten guilders. I think we can handle that, can't we? Uh, yeah, we'll save. I haven't actually saved for a while. I think this is about the third episode I'm recording in a row at the moment. Let me out, please. They've kidnapped me. No. Oh, that's better. We're going out. And now we'll head to the objective where there should hopefully be a person bubbling with enthusiasm. For those who watched the last episode, you'll be aware that we've just visited the king, who is a giant cat who is very depressed at the minute and won't give up his wand. So hopefully we are about to remedy that situation. Okay, so there's a boy here with a broomstick and a pan over his head. He seems like the likely suspect who has some extra enthusiasm. Let's go and steal it. So this is Tommy Stout. So we'll take heart as we did before, exactly the same. And that will get stored nicely in our locket. See you later, Tommy. We'll be seeing him at some point in the future, don't worry. Just in case you thought the boy with a saucepan over his head was only going to be in it for a moment, you are mistaken. Although our priority at the moment is to get this king back up in, in, in running order. So we're going to head over to him now and give him the collected enthusiasm. Quite pretty this game, isn't it? I do like the uh, the anime graphics on. I like the way it's all presented. I really do. In a way, you kind of feel like you're playing through an anime because it just looks so. Well, it's just been so amazingly done, really. I wish I could get some portable enthusiasm every now and then. Especially after a day at work, sometimes you just can't be asked to do anything, can you?
There you go. Have that for dinner. So, do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy. Please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah. Why? One is ten times more energetic than one has ever been, but one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Majesty, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Yes, Your Majesty. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hmm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. So we're going to get rewarded for helping out the king. So we're not going to get the wand just yet. Although we are going to get some rewards, so don't worry too much that we're going away empty handed, we're not. We have the spring lock spell, which basically allows us to open blue treasure chests and the rejuvenate spell. And we now have the king's blessing that will allow us to purchase weapons from the and armor from the quartermaster store. This is the store where we picked up the errands from earlier. Although if you want to save some money, everything you can buy, you'll shortly be able to collect from tasks and errands as rewards. So you might not need to. However, we now have the ability to open blue chests. And there is a blue chest in the city. There's also one in the deep dark wood if you fancy taking another trek over there. Right at the back of it, uh, there's a creamy flan. I'm not going to bother with it for the time being though. I'm just going to head over to the boutique. If I can remember exactly where it is. Right, this is it. There it is. Uh, where is it? Hmm. Spring lock. There we go, I'm blind. We obtained a sandwich, and we had to use MP to, use, uh, to get that. By the way, how's our familiar doing? Is he still full? Yep, we're not feeding him anything at the moment. You need to engage with him in battles in order to get his fullness down, I believe. So that's not going to happen for just a while. We're going to visit the quartermaster. Ah. <coughs> this isn't the quartermaster, this is the taskmaster. I'm getting my... Uh, Master's crossed up here. Okay, I think we need to head to the objective marker, basically. Oh, right, yeah, I know where it is. We can't go this way, though. It's the one that looks like a giant bird, the shop. Me about the way, woman. 
Here it is. We have actually already equipped our familiar. But this is the first time the game actually introduces us to the system of equipping the familiars. I'll have a quick look though to see what we can buy. Anything interesting? A wooden sword. Which gives plus three attack, so that would not be very good for our familiar. A well-worn sword, which he's already using. A kitchen knife, which increases something, but perhaps attack speed, but decreases uh, attack damage. And we can't use that or that. There is also armor as well. We could buy a wooden shield, which would increase our familiar's armor by three. I'm not going to bother, to be honest. But yeah, you get the idea. We now need to head back to the castle. And tell the king whatever it is we need to tell him, but that's where we need to head to now. And we will be doing that in the next episode, so thank you very much for watching once again. Please join me as we go back to visit the king next time. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, and yes, I will catch you in the next episode. See you, folks. Take care.